Hi there, I'm Andrew. Welcome to Urban Rider for another look at some of the world's finest riding gear. Today we're going to show you the Revit Trench Jacket. This is Revit's most technical item in their new urban collection for autumn winter 2018. This is a Gore-Tex jacket and this is where we get to really benefit in the urban sector from Revit's cross-discipline focus through the rest of their range. So Revit focus on sports bike riders, adventure riders, commuters, tourers, as well as the urban sector. And whereas we often look at things from a point of view of they need to look right and then they need to do a job, these guys have masses of experience when it comes to making sure the job is done first and foremost. And so what we have here, the brief for this jacket, was that Revit set out to create something that was in every way as capable as an adventure jacket, but in the skin of something urban focused. So this is a Gore-Tex offering. This comes in at £449.99 in the time of the release of the video in the UK, which is not cheap, but when you consider how much is on offer, you can judge. This jacket then is a 450 denier outer nylon, which is a very hard wearing nylon in and of itself. It has this nice, clean and simple look to it. The idea is to move away from the style of adventure jackets, which is logos and high vis and lots of panels everywhere. This is pretty neat and it would slip in well into most urban riding environments. So this features as well a patented system for ventilation. So this jacket is 100% going to see you through the winter and the autumn, but also massively into the spring and summer. This has some really, really nifty features. So this is a laminated Gore-Tex membrane. Gore-Tex performs to pretty much the highest levels on both waterproofing and breathability. In terms of a combination of both, I don't know of any membrane that does a better job. It's also guaranteed for life, the membrane itself, and all Gore-Tex products must be submitted to them for testing before they're put on the market. So there's a real quality of assurance there when it comes to knowing that this will do its job and last. And people always say that Gore-Tex works well as well. So the fact that the membrane itself is laminated to the underside of this outer nylon layer means that the water doesn't saturate the fabric at all. It simply runs off, it can't penetrate, and that makes a big difference because you keep dry, and even in cheaper jackets where you remain dry yourself, the jacket often gets wet, soggy, and heavy, and it means that you get colder too. So this is gonna keep you performing to the best of possible abilities in all riding conditions. There's lots of very, very subtle little comfort features and adjustment features as well, such as the piping around the collar and the extra little layer there for this inner liner which is removable so there's a thermal removable inner liner too to keep this going on the cold days but take it out and this is a really capable jacket on the warm days so let's look a bit at how that works so Revit have a patented aqua defense ventilation system now this is something that Gore-Tex themselves had never previously approved believe it or not so having vents on Gore-Tex jackets for reasons you could probably appreciate is very very tricky because as soon as you have an opening you have a weak spot in the fabric and so what tends to have to be the case then is that you need the waterproof membrane to be somewhere behind this vent so that you can have a vent layer and then a separate waterproof layer and that leads back to a problem I mentioned about the outer jacket possibly becoming really heavy. Whereas here, what Revit have achieved for the first time is managing to create this within a ventilation system as well. So these two YKK vertical zips that you can see there either side, you have a Velcro system and you have essentially a gasket on either side, which is gonna prevent any water that gets through the zip from getting into this actual mesh layer. And then that is simply a mesh where the air goes straight into the jacket. And that means that you can have that open on those warmer days. Obviously you wouldn't have your thermal lining in on those days. And that means loads and loads of airflow either side of this chest area. And you have this little system here for holding the flaps open as well. So you're gonna get masses of airflow in there, which you would not normally expect on something that had a Gore-Tex outer laminated membrane. And then if you go around to the back, on the backs of the shoulder blades, you have these exit vents as well. And so that's designed so that the air is required to be forced around the jacket, circulating as much as possible before it makes its way through those exit vents. So it's very effective at achieving that airflow when you need it to, but when you close it up, you have that Velcro that goes back around the outside of this VCS aqua defense system. And of course, now that you've seen the underside, you can imagine that any water getting through simply cannot penetrate this gasket. When you're riding along, the fabric is pushed down on top of the gasket and the water cannot get in between it and through into that mesh and through to you. So it's a really clever and very well formulated, neat and tidy way of meaning that you have a jacket that really does perform very, very well in the wettest, coldest, and also the hottest and driest conditions, all in one jacket. You've also got your usual urban storage compartments, such as you've got the three-quarter zip there on the sides, which has a magnetic double slap closure system. You've got adjustment on the inside of the arms as well, which is really neat, and it's got a toggle system there so that you can tailor it in as required. 
The actual jacket has a lovely styling to it and a nice tailoring to it. In terms of the fit, it's a little bit different to some of the other Revit jackets. I found it a touch smaller, perhaps an inch or so. So I'm a 40 inch chest and in this I'm wearing the large and it fits me really nicely. You could get away with a 41, but I don't think you'd get away with a 42, which is what some of the other jackets claim to go up to. So do check the size guide over at urbanrider.co.uk. Going down and opening up the jacket, you've got this simple Velcro overlay system, which is an effective way of doing the jacket up and just really easy and straightforward. And underneath there, you've got another storage option, but you also have this nice, chunky, high quality and easy to operate zipper. Liner itself, very easy to remove. You have a couple of snappers at the lower side and then a half YKK zip as well. Undo that and you see that the jacket becomes significantly lighter, but also you can see the underside of the outer layer here. Got another pocket for storage there as well, so a little bit of added versatility too. So there are certainly lots of jackets out there on the market that claim to have you covered in all conditions. But if you want the real deal and the one that I believe would do the absolute best job of that, then the Revit Trench Jacket is a fantastic option and a great place to look. So stay tuned for more reviews. Revit's Urban Collection is coming out in the next few days and we'll be releasing more videos very shortly. So hopefully we'll see you again. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.